As his neighborhood fell apart around him, he took action. Now at the age of 96, he's giving back to help lift up the people around him. In the 70s, a retired city bus driver noticed houses on his block were going vacant. So steadily, he started buying them. This is so cool. And in all, he bought four homes on St. Patrick Avenue near City Airport, and then he rented them out for decades at below market rates. Well, now at the age of 96, he's doing something really special. Let's bring in Larry Sproul. He is live tonight with his story. Hey, Larry. Hey, Karen. Hey, Jason. I spoke to many people who live right here on St. Patrick's Avenue, and a lot of them say that one person saved their neighborhood. His name is Andrew Starks. Take a listen. He's just a good person. Lamona Bell has nothing bad to say about the man she says is the father of this St. Patrick Avenue neighborhood. His name is Mr. Andrew Starks. He's 96 years young. And Mr. Starks constantly going to help people, you know, and everything, kids, the everything. He's just a great guy. A great guy, many credit for saving their neighborhood and homes back in the 70s. Oh, Lord. This is I got seven, three, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's just a portion, says Starks. He says in the 1970s, during the white flight, he bought over a dozen homes left behind from his white neighbors when they left the neighborhood and moved to the suburbs. Starks says he just retired from the city of Detroit as a bus driver and did not want to just sit around and do nothing. So he bought the homes, fixed them up, and either rented or sold them. Well, they needed, they needed a place to stay in. And the up the Bell bought her home from Starks about 30 years ago at the same time she was pregnant. I happened to go in labor the time that I was supposed to move in and he told me don't worry about it the house is yours. He's a great landlord. He's there for any little thing. You don't have problems no way but he's out every day now. Out still helping people every chance he gets. And speaking of helping people, many of the neighbors say that Mr. Stark still cuts their grass to this day. And uh, he also sold their homes for a very low price, many of them under the market value at that time. So just what a great guy. What a great story. We are live on the Detroit Seaside tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Well, Larry, I got to ask, at the young age of 96, does he have a what's next? What's he going to do? Another big project, buy more homes. What, what's his plan? Yeah, Karen, so the biggest plan he tells me is that he does not plan on slowing down at all. And he's looking to buy some more houses only if the price is right. Oh, <laughs> very smart man. That's right. Great story. Thank you, Larry.